Costume with your daily Google News, and today we're going to play with a new feature, and I'm so excited. Um, I am going to show you how to use pricing rules inside of Google Merchant Center. Um, this is a new feature, and uh, what's kind of interesting is uh, Google, first of all, lied. So you'll notice that when I go to create pricing rule, uh, country and currency are predetermined based off of our uh, account settings, which makes perfect sense, but they say select rule type. And there are four rule types, lowest price, cost of goods sold, top merchants, sales volume. All right, sounds good. However, when you go to Google's education, it says the following rule types are available. Now, here are the four that I just went over with you. Lowest price, cost of goods, uh, top merchants, sales volume. But here's a fifth one. <gasps> Where is it? And, I, and the thing that sucks is I love it. Buy box winning. This rule will allow you to reduce the price of your offer by a maximum value or percentage, which may help you win the buy box. Keep in mind, winning the buy box means that you're the default merchant for a product when customers add that product to their cart. This is huge. And for some reason, it's not there. And I don't know why. So um, just know that maybe that's coming. Maybe they, they killed it or they're going to add it or whatever, given this is a new feature. It's, you know, either is, is I think, equally as likely. But just to give you a sense as to how this works, it's super straightforward. So you're going to select your rule type, and it, they all are pretty self-explanatory. Lowest price is um, we are going to select the rule based off of the current lowest price. Now, this is gets a little scary depending on how expensive your product type is, but um, it's the lowest price for similar products on Google. Um, title of the rule for you, uh, rule ID for the feed. What you're going to do is you're going to create a rule ID and then add this rule ID to your feed to identify the products that you want this rule to apply to. Now, you can apply rules to all products. That might be the most dangerous thing that I think anybody ever could have done. But you're going to title your rule, add a rule ID, and then tell Google what, they, what you want to have happen, either by percentage or um, uh, dollar amount. And you can use positive and negative integers here. So you can actually say, hey, I want to go up or I want to go down based off of where the lowest price is. Um, Couple of notes, price floor, thank God. So you can use the price floor specified in my feed. Now, the note to you is, I don't know how many folks I've seen without a price floor specified, but I'm sure it's a lot. So just be really careful and make sure that you have a guardrail here. Um, if you want to, you could have a manual guardrail spe specifies the maximum drop uh, you're comfortable with. Uh, I'd prefer to see a price floor in the feed, to be honest with you. And then where this applies, you can go all products. Only products with the rule ID that matches the, the rule ID, which is the rule ID you created up here. Um, or you can create your own filter. So if you wanted to say, like, item ID is one and this thing is also true, etc., uh, feel free. I, I, I don't know that um, I have a specific use case where that's applicable. But if you do, then you might say, oh, no, that actually makes the most sense for me. Um, and then you can say, don't apply the rule to products with live promotions. That also might be uh, a really helpful guardrail um, for you because you could end up with the double discount, which is scary. Um, starting end dates with Google Ads, I generally don't love end dates because it's a signal to Google that we're going to stop advertising for the rules. I think this is perfectly fine. I don't think there's any wish issue with it whatsoever. So if you want the rule to end, you know, feel free to apply an end date. Um, Cogs is it's the exact same list of rules with the exception of you're now basing your price off of your cost of goods, which is being delivered from the feed. So as your cog changes, so too does your price. Um, kind of a nifty little rule. Top merchants base the price off of uh, the top merchants in the space, according to Google. Uh, this rule allows you to set your price relative to the lowest price among top merchants for this product. I love how opaque that is. And then sales volume is really interesting. I actually really love this. So, you know, let's say like, and this is Google's example in their education, but if I've only sold zero to 10 of this product in the last week, let's go ahead and drop this by 10%. So you're like, look, if I'm not reaching my sales goals, let's drop the price and see what happens, that type of thing. Um, and then the other rules are, are pretty much the same. Really cool, really cool. Shout out to my boy Uncar on our team for, for flagging this in the company Slack. Um, well done, dude. And, uh, you know, if, if this makes sense for you and your business, then you're going to, you know, look at this and be like, oh, yeah, no, I totally understand everywhere that I'm going to use this. Uh, it might not, though. So, you know, just be careful because I could see, you know, the wrong rule with, without safeguards just going way off the rails and causing a lot of problems. So be really careful with any amount of automation um, or automated rules engines. Um, other than that, I hope this is helpful and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know we actually know what we're doing. We shoot a video every single day. So if you want to be notified, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any input, don't hesitate to hit us up in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We get very little human interaction. Thanks for supporting our channel and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.